Hey friends, today we're gonna dive into one of my favorite topics, fonts. And specifically, we're gonna go over the best, most modern and contemporary Google fonts. Let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna start with one of my favorites, DM Sans. DM Sans is a very contemporary font that has a lot that you could do with it and is really good for just reading. It makes it really nice for just reading text on a page with a modern feel. So if you're gonna have a blog, this is a great body font for your blog. Next up is Space Grotesque. You're gonna see there's a few kind of more on edge fonts that we're gonna look at today. This one is one of them. If you're doing anything in AI, if you're doing anything with the blockchain, Web 3.0, anything in those realms in the tech space, this is a great font to use. It really highlights just cool feel for all the letters. And again, this is a great body font that you could use on your site. Let's look at this, Unbounded. This is a really cool font if it's used in the right way. I could see this font being used on any website that has anything to do with like the ocean or like surfing or water potentially anything with water like it's like lakes or, or things like that i could see this font really speaking nicely as you can see here this like a is just a really interesting break here in the middle of the letter same with the d and the g here the way it comes to this like a water droplet on its side really nice feel paired with the right body font could be really cool. I don't really see this as a body font as much as a display font, as a heading font that you can use. Following, let's take a look at Anonymous Pro. Again, there are some that are just gonna push the edge a little bit. This is more in the like mono type space, but it really shines and again, gives a lot of character. So I think of like a Lee Labo with like fragrances, really high-end fragrances. Their body font looks a little bit more like this. It's a different font, but it looks a little bit more like this where it's very legible, but it almost has that typewriter-like feel and more of a mono feel. Following, we have Darker Grotesque. This font is so cool. Again, if you're in the space of anything like an agency or any type of creative agency, this font could work really well on your website and give you a lot of personality while still communicating very clearly. Some fonts gets very crazy and wild. This font just has enough edge that makes it feel unique. You're gonna be able to see it and like, oh, this is the same brand. Next up, we have Glock. I believe that's how you pronounce it. This is a great heading font. You could almost think like of a newspaper or if you do have a blog, just any type of blog content, articles, guides, posts, this could be a great heading font. It does have a very contrasting edge. What I mean is if you zoom in here and let's take a look at this R, like this is very thin right here versus how thick the letter is. There is a lot being communicated through this font and it's not necessarily balanced. Like this is just so, so thin and this is so thick. Consider that there's the these edges here that come in from like this P, there's a lot of little character inside the font. Now, before we continue, if you're looking to incorporate Google fonts on your website or just really learn a lot more about fonts, the weight of fonts, how I look at fonts and incorporate it into a website, and even considering color in this whole conversation, you should definitely check out our font starter kit. The link will be down below for you to be able to go to the website and purchase it. And honestly, if you don't even use Squarespace, this will still be super helpful for you. But if you are a Squarespace user, I will also show you how to incorporate all of these fonts into your website with ease. You don't have to pay any extra money because all these fonts are already free. So I'm gonna show you how to incorporate it across your whole site, plus give you the best tips and tricks on how to think about fonts. And finally, how to think about colors. When you think about heading and body text, like all the colors matter. Let's get back into the video. Mono, we're gonna go through a few mono fonts. This is Martian Mono. This is a really cool font. Again, if you're doing something like an agency or anything creative, could really be a cool font to use in a body context like this or like this. Next up, we got Fragment Mono. This is probably one of my favorite ones that we're gonna look at today in the mono space. This font here, really clean. It doesn't have a lot of options. As you can see here, it's only 400 in the font weight. And so this is probably a body font. It's not a heading font. And as you can see down here, it looks really 
really nice here. So if you're doing anything with like, let's say you have an event coming up or some type of community launch, this is again like really cool way to give information and this font doesn't take a lot from the content. So if you have great visuals, this font really supports that. Next up, this one is interesting. This one's called Climate Crisis. I got no idea why, but we have this really thick and this has a lot of characters. So this is very much a display font. As you can see here, they only show it in the 48 and the 36. They don't show it in a smaller size because at a certain point, it just gets way too hard to read. So this would be a display font, a heading font that you use on your site. Take a look at this R right here. This is so cool. Has a lot of character. Really, really cool to possibly work with. Next up, we have Instrument Sans. I believe this is a newer font that has come to Google Fonts. I could be wrong on that, but this is really nice. If you are going back to kind of the beginning with DM Sans, this Sans font here is really beautiful for body text on some type of blog or any type of site somebody's going to be reading a lot. You don't want it to be really hard to read if there's a lot of content that needs to be read, especially again, if you have articles, blogs, loads of written content, you wanna make it pretty easy, the, the legibility and the readability as easy and simple as possible. This font really executes that. When you look at the 400, which is the regular, what you use for like regular body text, looks really nice, has a nice feel. I think the spacing, can be cut down just a bit, spacing between the letters. But overall, I think it's really, really nice. And then the bold, let's take a look here. Yeah, the bold here, this is really beautiful. Again, it has personality, but not too much. And it's really easy on the eyes. Following. If you're a web designer, this is really cool. Now you could use regular emojis on your website, but emojis do have a lot of color and sometimes it doesn't always work the way you want it to. So this is a really cool font where you could control the look and feel and have really awesome emojis that are familiar to people, but they're also unique without you having to necessarily design a thing. So check these out. These carry a lot of character and because they're just black and white, they hold a lot of weight as well. Almost any emoji out there you could find as one of these in this font pack this noto emoji font pack and as you go through them again these are just really cool to use throughout your site they got all the options i don't know if they have every single one but they have a load of them and i think the way they did flags was actually pretty cool let me show you because flags are, some, are just colors often they ended up doing something like this which is pretty cool it's an interesting take on all the flags now these are my favorite fonts I I absolutely love them. You've probably seen them on the internet in some form or fashion, but I'm gonna talk about Inter and Intertight. Intertight is the newest version. So let me show you that. That's what this is here. It's a smaller type version of Inter and I love it for headings. I use it for headings on my website and all the body font is Inter. Remember I told you at the beginning, DM Sans was the font I used to use as body font. I think it's really nice, but Inter is the one I currently use because I think it just looks so, so smooth. It's almost like a modern day, if I could say this, Helvetica, that is just really clean. And with this intertight edition, you have a great display heading fonts and body fonts. These are also variable fonts, which means you just get a whole variety of options on how you could use it in the actual width and the weight. So take a look here. This is intertight and you'll see all the way from 100 all the way up to 900. You have every single style that you can think of when building a site like this looks so beautiful here the bold even the semi bold the 600 is just so so nice very much like a apple style feel and then back to enter here again you have 100 all the way to 900 and so you have a lot of styling options here if you look at 400 this is how the body text will read on a website it looks really really nice let me go to the type tester just to show you a little bit more of how this all works together and so you can see here this is like a heading with just enter and then down here is the body font it looks very beautiful elegant and modern 